yesterday, the L-shaped corner is almost complete. That would be lavender, fourth batch. There is 4.5 cubic feet of dirt. Was on sale at Home Depot, 6.97 a bag. The bin, less than $12. Walmart. I now have floodlights. Those are not floodlights, excuse me, heat lamps. Those are floods. They create heat to heat the soil to dry it out so that the bugs don't start flying around this house again. Now that the heat lamps are elevated this way, those lamp, the lamp, the lamps were free. Basically, Chuck had given me lamps. I tore the lampshades off, bought the bulbs out at Home Depot, just enough heat to keep it at a 70 degree mark, tested the pH levels on the soil. Pomegranate tree has too much water in the soil. The ivy is growing up. The wall and on the other side too, the ivy's growing. It's growing the wrong way, but I'm gonna train it to grow the right way, straight up there in the corner, and we're gonna drag it around that way with little tack nails. Tomatoes keep on popping, and we added hot chilies. In the back, the coffee plant will go right in between, yeah, those are potatoes. The coffee plant is gonna go right here on this row. The jalapenos will go around the back. And in the back, I'm gonna drop a dragon fruit plant. Today, we're mixing neem oil and dish soap to spray for those little gnat creatures that keep flying around the house. You can also, and Chuck told me this, also found out from another person, these little tops that you have laying around the house, like containers like this and that, that's garlic at the bottom mixed with neem oil and dish soap. Neem oil, dish soap, and garlic. They smell it, they drop in, they fly into it, and they get basically drowned or they die from the neem oil. You can also get a neem plant and plant neem plants all around the edges and that way the bugs don't continue to fly around your house. Urban garden, raised beds, almost complete. Thank you.